Yeah, I mean, we definitely will be able to create completely autonomous beings with their own goals. And it will be very important, especially as these beings become much smarter than humans, as the goals of these beings be aligned with our goals. Ilya Sutskever was likely one of the biggest contributors to the development of OpenAI and GPT-4. But what did Ilya see? What development did he uncover at OpenAI that spooked him into taking drastic actions to potentially slow down OpenAI and refocus it on safety? None of these questions are more pressing than, where is Ilya? Sam has been asked this question many times. Is Ilya in the box delivered by Jensen Huang? Is Ilya in some underground nuclear facility? Maybe a secret bunker? Well, now we know. Ilya has been busy building not AGI, not artificial general intelligence. He's been building ASI, artificial super intelligence, which he is calling as SSI, safe super intelligence. And he's saying it's the most important technical problem of our time. So he's building the world's first straight shot SSI lab. We'll come back to that because straight shot SSI lab is important. Let's start at the beginning. Here's Ilya Sutskever saying, I'm starting a new company. We will pursue safe super intelligence in a straight shot with one focus, one goal, and one product. We will do it through revolutionary breakthroughs produced by a small crack team. They're saying super intelligence is within reach now. If you've been paying attention recently, a lot of people are suggesting that AI, deep learning, etc. is hitting a wall. It's slowing down in progress. There's a great video from about a year back where Ilya Sutskever at length discusses why in the upcoming years, a lot of people will think that there will be an AI winter. And then he explains why that will not happen. Why progress will keep ramping up rapidly. Here he's saying superintelligence is within reach, and that building a safe superintelligence is the most important technical problem of our time, which I certainly agree with. We have started the world's first straight-shot SSI lab with one goal and one product, a safe superintelligence. It's called Safe Superintelligence Inc. They use the word safe a lot. And, as you'll see, their history at OpenAI is probably responsible for some of that. SSI is our mission, our name, and our entire product roadmap because it is our sole focus. Our team, investors, and business model are all aligned to achieve SSI. We approach safety and capabilities in tandem, together as technical problems to be solved through revolutionary engineering and scientific breakthroughs. We plan to advance capabilities as fast as possible while making sure our safety always remains ahead. This way, we can scale in peace. Our singular focus means no distraction by management overhead or product cycles, and our business model means safety, security, and progress are all insulated from short-term commercial pressures. We are an American company with offices in Palo Alto and Tel Aviv, where we have deep roots and the ability to recruit top technical talent. We are assembling a lean crack team of the world's best engineers and researchers dedicated to focusing on SSI and nothing else. Crack, I believe, started out as a gaming term, meaning someone's insanely good at something, and now is often used in tech to describe somebody, for example, a developer or engineer who is just incredibly capable. If that's you, we offer an opportunity to do your life's work and help solve the most important technical challenge of our age. The three co-founders are Ilya Sutskever, Daniel Gross, and Daniel Levy. So, who is Daniel Gross? I personally don't know too much about him, but he looks like he's an engineer and investor, co-founder of a Q&A search engine acquired by Apple in 2013, and invested in some pretty big startups like Instacart, Coinbase, GitHub, etc. It looks like he was a partner at Y Combinator and started its AI program. Daniel Levy, the third co-founder, was previously at OpenAI. He holds a PhD from Stanford and has worked at Google and Facebook. Now Ilya's SSI venture stands out to me. Here's Ilya Sutskever saying, This company is special in that its first product will be the safe super intelligence and will not do anything else up until then. So no demos, no product releases, no anything until safe super intelligence. It will be fully insulated from the outside pressures of having to deal with a large and complicated product and being stuck in a competitive rat race. Ilya is not naming who is backing this or how much they've raised. We're assuming Daniel Gross probably invested in it, but there has been no confirmation of that. They talk a bit about exactly what AI safety means. It's a little bit vague, but Ilya suggests that safety will be done through engineering breakthroughs baked into the AI system, as opposed to guardrails that are applied to the technology on the fly. By safe, we mean safe like nuclear safety, as opposed to safe as in trust and safety. This little quote about trust and safety is interesting. If you look at OpenAI and their principles, they're saying they want to be a pioneer in trust and safety. So this seems like a little bit of a shots fired at OpenAI sort of thing. They point out that the investors putting money into SSI, safe super intelligence, are doing so without the hope of creating profitable hit products along the way. 
This is what they mean when they say straight shot SSI. No quick cash grab releases, subscription models, APIs, etc. Straight shot seems like a kind of a do or die scenario. There's no consensus in history about whether such an intelligence, a super intelligence is achievable, or how a company would go about building one. This is very true. There is no consensus. We don't even have consensus about AGI, or even if LLMs have the ability to reason, improve, or make guesses that fall outside of their training data. So, the fact that Ilya, this legendary figure in the space, is making such bold statements is intriguing. He's saying, We're getting to superintelligence. It's within reach. We don't need to partner up with a trillion-dollar public-traded company. We don't need to release products. We just need a small, lean team. A lot of this sounds very ambitious. Ilya is saying that the way to make AI safe, for it to be a force for good, is to have it operate on top of values that have been successful in the past 100 years, and that underpin liberal democracies like liberty, democracy, and freedom. With current systems, he says, you talk to it, you have a conversation, and you're done. The system we want to pursue would be more general purpose and expansive in its abilities. You're talking about a giant super data center that's autonomously developing technology. That's crazy, right? It's the safety of that that we want to contribute to. So, what do you think about the whole situation? First of all, how realistic is Ilya's goal of building a super intelligence with what seems to be a small team, not a massive amount of funding, and seemingly pretty quickly? Certainly, if they're saying there's not going to be any products or releases until they get to ASI, they're not thinking decades into the future. It sounds like it's something in the more near or medium term. I'm sure some cynical people might say, well, this is just sort of the inflation of expectations. You have to say ever bigger and sort of crazier things to get attention in order to get funding. If OpenAI is saying they're developing AGI, that doesn't get a lot of attention. But if you're saying you're developing ASI, well, that's a whole different thing. On the other hand, Ilya doesn't seem like the type of person that plays games like that or says things loosely. He seems like a very serious, very focused, very honest person, and very convinced that this technology is coming soon, and that it's incredibly important that we get it right. Why did we choose to use the term superintelligence? The reason is that superintelligence is meant to convey something that's not just like an AGI. With AGI, we said, well, you have something kind of like a person, kind of like a coworker. Superintelligence is meant to convey something far more capable than that. Mm -hmm. When you have such a capability, it's like, can we even imagine how it will be? But without question, it's going to be unbelievably powerful. It could be used to solve incomprehensibly hard problems if it is used well, if we navigate the challenges that superintelligence pose, poses. We could, we could radically improve the quality of life. But the power of superintelligence is so vast. So the concerns, this is the superintelligence safety and it must be addressed in order to contain the vast power of the superintelligence.